your words. Welcome to Veronica G on TV. Today we are up close with Marcus Johnson. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. And oh, happy belated birthday before we start. Thank you so much. So you had a full house today. Yes. And he was exhausted. <laughs> I'm glad she said that. Yes, I am absolutely. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I mean, um, we've launched in 12 states uh, my new wine float, and uh, literally I've been in the last week to San Diego, LA, San Diego, DC, somewhere else in between. And this, I mean, literally we're talking since last Saturday. Wow. And, uh, um, you know, the San Diego, LA to. <laughs> Well, San Diego to L.A., San Dimas, then to L.A., I had meetings before I came back to San Diego to leave. Mm -hmm. So everywhere I go, it's like the old days where I had a box of CDs, now I have either that or I have my cards to be able to promote it so I can send my distributor. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> earlier today, you know, it was great here. Earlier today, we had an in-store at Whole Foods. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I saw your Facebook check, and I was like, wow, he is everywhere. Yeah. I mean, it keeps you out of trouble. Per se, or right. maybe it gets you in more. more but, <laughs> yeah, because uh, you, you're running around more places. But uh, I'm looking forward to, to getting my five hours tonight. Five what? hours? Okay, you need a full ten to catch up. I For mean, the four that you had in the last 48 hours, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, but uh, you know, this is why you have to do what you love. Right. Because if you do what you love, it's not work. Or it's work, but you can bear it. You know you what I mean? Bear it better, right? Yeah. So it's I know you were on Georgetown Law School, and then you, and then you have your music career. Is music your passion? Is that your first love? Or what was the aha moment where you transitioned to pursuing music full time? You know, I, honestly, to tell you the truth, I think that my passion is like doing stuff, and mm -hmm. business allows me to do that, and okay. it, it also gives me the ability to fund some of the you know other fun things I like to do. You know, standing and, and playing music out of Whole Foods, knowing that I'm probably one of the first musicians to do that, mm -hmm. um, especially in this area, at least to promote his own line. Um, it's a thing that, that I take pride in, and I'm about to, it's pride, but I'm very thankful for it, and I have fun with that, you know, because... It's wonderful that you're still so close, and you're still approachable, and you're still so involved in the community, even with the success that you're having. Yeah. That's very well, I mean, but I'm, I'm nothing without the, the community. You know? I mean, it's I, I laugh at people who get disconnected. I mean, you know, you have politicians who forget that, yes. and you know, we have some great examples in this area yes. where you know you do great stuff, but you forget who put you there, and the fact that you have to take care of them or at least make them think that they that, that you care right. in order for you to continue. You know, to, to be voted back into office. Yeah. Whereas you have somebody like one of our mayors, one mm -hmm. of the mayors of the city, that They're everybody, so you know, and, and some of them just take care of the people and they love them still, even through all personal failures and everything else like that. And it's because people understand you're, you're a person, you're not perfect. Exactly. And so, uh, but the community, I mean, Georgetown, Georgetown Law, but <laughs> no, uh, people understand that. Um, I understand that I'm nothing about the community. I mean, if these people don't come in and, and pay their hard-earned money to see me, and if I don't give them, you know, my my earnest effort, you know, they're not coming back. That they're not going to spread the word. That is for sure. So your new brand, you have a new brand of wine, Flow, mm -hmm. that stands for For the Love of. Mm -hmm. You have a red blend and a white blend. Yes. And you're here in the DMV area. Where can our listeners get it's funny. I would tell you really to go to flowbrands.com, F L O B R A N D S dot com. <coughs> Excuse me, Brian. But in DC, we're in a pilot program in Target. Okay. You know, we just in, in Montgomery County, we're at Montgomery Gourmet, we're at uh, the corner of uh, Democracy, that shopping center of Democracy in Old Georgetown. We just got into Blacks. We're in Shoppers Food, which is the number two store in, in, in Maryland. Um, in Virginia, we're in uh, Harris Teeter, we're in Giant, Total Wine and More, now Whole Foods. Um, and, you know, for those of you all who are outside of the area, in Chicago, we're in Jewel Oscar. Um, and, uh, you know, places like California, we're in Albertsons. In Las Vegas, we're in Albertsons. So it's, uh, it's really a 12-state um, operation and there are 
three of us, you know, in the office uh, with a great distribution team uh, mm -hmm. across the 12 states. Well, congratulations on Thank you so that. much. Um, during the show, you said a quote, which I actually just tweeted. You said, dream it, do it. Yes. Can you just expand a little bit on that? Because I just absolutely love that quote. And that's what we preach at Ron Cajon mm -hmm. Not only do you have to dream it, you have to take action to do it. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's uh, there, there are a couple different ways. I mean, the, the, one of my favorite authors is Paulo Coelho, and the book is The Alchemist. In his foreword, which I think is the most important part of the book, he mentions the four reasons why people fail. One, it's because we're taught we can't dream. Two, we're taught to basically kill the one, the thing we love. The third is the fear of failure, and the fourth is kind of like almost like a, a fear of success. You know, you, you forget about working, how hard you work, the, the sweat and tears, the bags that are under my eyes, the fact that I tried to get my hair cut three times this week and I couldn't, and you give it away. Instead of saying, like, I was successful at this, I made money, and I'm awesome, and that's okay. I heard that in one of the groups sometimes. This girl was like, you know what, I've realized here that I'm awesome and that's okay. And, and we forget that stuff. Dream it, you have to dream it. You have to sit and take time out to smell, you know, look at the flowers, and then that's when you really start connecting with, uh, with, with God, your higher power, whatever you, you might believe in. But then, without working a group, if you don't execute on your dream, it'll never happen. Right, and it'll just be a dream. Exactly, and then listening and learning. That, so, you know, I'm working on a book. The book is called The Pell, D-P-E-L-L, -L, Dream, Plan, Execute, Listen, and Learn. And the, the idea behind it is, you know, most people dream plan, some people execute, but very few listen and learn and readapt to make it better. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one thing I can say is whether it's Whole Foods, whether it's, you know, uh, my road manager here, Haywood, and, you know, or even you coming up with an idea, I'm going to listen to it. And I'm going to figure out a way, if it's great, if I think it's good, to then adapt my product so that, you know, it can have added value, even more added value. Thank you for sitting down with us, Dan. I know you're exhausted, so we're going to let you go. Um, Marcus, and everything he's doing is definitely the being the next level, so please follow Marcus on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and all, those LinkedIn stuff. And all that stuff. We'll have a link, so um, until next time, I'll always give you a the next level. What's on your mind? Tell me what you think, please. Don't wanna.